Even though we're still waiting for Sir Jim Radcliffe's investment into the club to be ratified by the Premier League, it seems he's wasting no time on making an impact. Reports overnight claim that Sir Jim is looking at the possibility of building a new stadium that will be viewed as the Wembley of the North. However, it's our understanding that all options are still on the table regarding the infrastructure at Old Trafford, with no decisions made so far. Reports claim a new stadium could cost as much as £2 billion and that Sir Jim could seek in government funding for any investment in the infrastructure. Old Trafford has been United's home since 1910 and is currently the biggest capacity club stadium in England. Of home stadiums for football clubs currently in the top five European leagues, Old Trafford's 74,000 capacity puts them sixth on the list. If they were to build a 90,000 capacity arena, only Barcelona's Camp Nou would be larger. Of course, Wembley is also a 90,000 capacity stadium, but no club team plays their home matches there. We've seen the place crumbling around our ears over the last couple of decades, really. Since the Glazers took over, um, there's been very little done to that stadium. It was state-of-the-art when I first went there 25, 30 years ago and uh, it hasn't been that case for a long while. You go to grounds like Tottenham, even Manchester City, plenty of grounds in the Premier League and it leaves it standing. And, and you know, that's one of the things that was obvious to Ratcliffe when Ineos brought their 25% stake in the club. Um, the, 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 apart from the team needing a major overhaul, so did the stadium too. Let's not also lose sight of the fact that part of the driving force now to get a bigger stadium to kind of um, bring in more funds is obviously it would help your turnover. In the days of PSR, that has never been more acute. You know, so we're also looking at 90,000 rather than kind of the current um, mid-70s kind of capacity. It's it's a massive thing for, for United. I mean, they're going from an old um, sort of kind of leaky roof uh, with a tunnel sort of kind of not really fit for purpose at Old Trafford. You know, it should really be sort of something glamorous to run out to. This is the self-proclaimed theatre of dreams, which really has become something of a, you know, a den of, <laughs> den of nightmares, frankly, because it is just outdated. Anyone will, will tell you that that, that site at Old Trafford has got so much vast um, outlying space that surely they can remain on site and surely they can, you know, build another stadium, which kind of raises the level again. These designers are fantastic and I do think that's well within their grasp. During the bidding process for Manchester United, Gary Neville listed the stadium as one of his non-negotiables for a new owner or investor to focus their attention. And he reiterated that point on his podcast in December. If you've got an amazing Old Trafford with fantastic people at the top of the club creating a great culture, you've got a good chance of success coming down the line. And it's really important, that Old Trafford part. Really important that you have pride in where you play and that it's a great stadium. Starting with Manchester United's right back or right winger or left winger, yeah, if there's some easy wins, maybe you can look at that. But I think to start with, you know, that first six months, I think it's people and place and that's management and it's Old Trafford.